Welcome, my name is Darren Thomas. I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're gonna be looking at a little bit more about strings, particularly how to combine and to split strings inside RStudio. So you can see here that I'm already logged in, or I'm not logged in, but I already have RStudio open. And we're going to first make a string. A string is just a, co you know, a collection of letters or whatever that are often saved inside a vector, if you will, or an object inside RStudio. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my example one. We're just going to call it example one. And we're going to type in a little sentence, but I need to put my quotes first. So I put my quotations and I'm going to put the dog likes the food of Tom. That is my um, string that I'm going to be playing with for a while. And so to make sure that my computer has this stored, I'm going to press control enter and you can see that it has been loaded into my console like that. And if I want to see what it looks like, I type example one, press control enter, and you get this output here at the bottom. So example one is this. And now maybe you're wondering, okay, Darren, what kind of object or, or what exactly, how does uh, RStudio identify this? To figure that out, you use the str function, type in the name of the object, which for us is example one, and press control, oops, press control enter like so so it's a character and you can see right there that's how R identifies this now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split my um, example here and by splitting I'm going to take what is now one sentence and I'm going to divide it up into several individual words to do that you need to use the str split function so I type that in first, and then I give the name of what it is I want to split, which will be example one. I put a comma, and then I need to tell it how to split it. And so I'm going to put quotation, and then I'm gonna put a space between the quotations. And let's see if this works here. All right, now you may have noticed a few things that are actually different. So here we have in the output, notice how each word has its own quotation marks. That's because the sentence has been split apart. And this will make more sense in a minute when I show you what it looks like in the view. Um, also notice how we have these ones in double brackets and also this one in single brackets. What R has printed out is what we call a list. And so with a list, you can have a combination, many different types of objects. It's very confusing. I don't want to get stuck into the details. But what this is basically saying is that this is the first list in, inside the list, and this is the first you know, object or the first data input for the first list. And it's very, very, this can be very complicated, especially for beginners who don't have a background in uh, computer coding. Now, the next thing I want to do is, I want to show you how, let's say you don't want a list, you want something different, I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to make something called example two. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna repeat what we already did. Whoops, excuse me. We're gonna repeat what we just did, but we're going to um, do a slight modification that I'm going to show you in a sec second. I'm going to use the STRS, STR split command again, put in example one, put the comma, and then put the space between my quotation marks. And then I'm gonna do something unique. I'm going to put the double brackets and the one. And so what that's telling R is, is that, hey, you know, when you make this example two, when you split everything apart, I want to get the first list. In other words, I want to get this information right here. Now, let's take a look and see what happens. Okay. Now, of course, you can't see anything, so I'm going to type it in so you can see it now. And so you can see this is what we get. Notice the very, very small difference here. Here, I have the double brackets one and then the one but here I just have the brackets one. So it's a slightly different um, object. So if I tell you what it is, by using the str function, you can see it's a character, but it's a one to a seven. Now, I want to show you what this looks like as a visual because it's hard to understand the, the slight difference just by looking at the coding that is output. So this is what we're gonna do. We're going to view example one and then we're going to view example two so you can see how the data is stored slightly differently. So here's example one. All right, I know this is hard to see, but if you have really good eyes, sorry, I can't make it bigger. You can see that there's just this one little row here and it says the dog likes the food of Tom. Now, if we go here and look at example two, 
This is what we get. Notice how we have many rows. In other words, each word is stored in its own rows. That is the difference between what we did for example one and example two. Example one, everything is stored in one row. In other words, it's just like, you know, one vector, if you will, or one data input. But here, the words are stored in their own individual cells. In other words, you have multiple rows here. That is the difference between how we coded it. Now, R told us that, but it's very hard to appreciate that if you're a visual learner. That's why I showed you that. Okay, so we've already done those two things. Now, one other tool that I want to show you is the unique function and also the to lower function. The unique function, what it does is that it identifies you unique words because words that appear one of the one only once inside the particular object that you're looking at and the to lower function it will take whatever words are in there and it will lowercase them all right that's what it'll do and again when you're doing like text mining analysis these are very useful tools so we're going to use unique and then we're going to put to lower inside it all right so we're using both functions at the same time if you will example two so this is what's going to happen First, R is going to lowercase all the words inside the example. That's what's going to happen first. And then the outer function unique is only going to print the unique words. In other words, I will only see each word one time. That's what's going to happen here. Um, so here we go. I do that and you can see when I press control enter, notice if you remember from the beginning way up here at the top, Tom was uppercase. Now you can see that it's lowercase. That is because of the to lower function. But we only want a unique um, items. And so if you look closely, you can see the dog likes the food. The appears twice. However, because of the unique function, I only see the once. And also notice how the is also lowercase as well. And so that's the power of using these two functions together. And there's lots of other ways that this can be done. All right. Now, I just want to show you what example two looks like one more time to help you. In case you forgot, there it is. That's what it normally looks like. The dog likes the food of Tom. Notice everything has its own quotations. Now I'm going to show you a little bit about the paste function and how this works. So the paste function is for combining text. It's very, very practical when you're dealing with obviously text mining and other things like that. So to do it, I first type in paste, then the object I'm going to use, which is example number two, and then the argument collapse. And this is how it'll combine the information, if you will. So I put my quotations, and notice how I put the quotation mark with a space in it. Now, watch what happens here. So this is what is happening. We have taken something that used to be individual words and have combined it as one long sentence again. And we told it between every word, put a space. That's what the, the collapse means right here. And that's exactly what R did. If I change this, Notice how everything is squished together now. There's no individual words here. But with the collapse argument inside the paste function, when I press that, everything is spread apart like a nice, beautiful sentence. That's the power of it. Now, you can also do, for the collapse part, it doesn't have to be a space. It can also be, you know, a hyphen or an underscore, whatever you want. And so I'm going to give you an example of that real quick. So here we go like so, oops, oh, I forgot, I misspelled it, excuse me. And so now I need to do the underscore, gotta be careful with your coding here. Okay, here we go. Ah, here it is. Now, so the dog likes the food of Tom. Notice how the, there's the underscore between each word because for the collapse this time, I put the underscore instead of telling it to put a blank space. Now, um, two more things I want to show you. Um, the thing that you can also do is that you can combine letters and numbers in, uh, by using separation and also collapses. This is hard to understand without seeing it, so let me just type it in for you. This time, I'm going to use the object called letters. And so the letters uh, object inside R is just, you know, I'll just show you right here real quick. It's just all the letters A, A to Z in lowercase. And so to, what I want to do now is I'm going to take the first seven letters, so I'm going to use the bracket, then the colon, and then bracket again, and I'm going to separate each one with a space. That's what the separate means. So with the, I'm sorry, with the underscore, like I did before, and then I'm going to collapse it this time 
with the with a, a, a two dashes like this, two hyphens, if you will. So it's hard to understand what's happening here, but I need you to see it first. Okay, so here is what happened. Oh, I forgot something. Um, we also have to put the one to seven here. I forgot to do that because it tells it how many times to do it. So let me show you what this looks like first and then you can appreciate it. So here's what's happening. Letters one to seven. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's the first seven letters of the alphabet. And then I want to combine it with the numbers one to seven. So notice how it's A and then one, B and then two, C and then three, etc. But I want to separate the A and the one with the underscore. That is why you have A underscore one, dash dash, B underscore two, etc. And then lastly, after the first letter and the first number have the underscore between them, I want to separate the second number, I mean the second letter from the, from the numbers from the previous uh, couple by the dash. So let me explain this to you. So A is the first letter of the alphabet, separated by the underscore as shown, and then combine it with the first number, that's the number one, right here. And then separate this team right here, team A1 from team B2 with the double dash. That's how it works, or the, or the double hyphen, if you will. So you can see that, you know, it can get very complicated what you can do with this. And then the last thing, just for fun, is that you can also use the same word over and over again if you want, and R will just keep right on cycling it through. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pay school, and I want to have it show school one, then school two, then school three, etc. And so R will keep reusing the word school until it is completed it seven times. And so you can see right there, that's how it works. So this is some of the fun stuff that you can do with R. Um, what I showed you now is easier to appreciate when you actually do some coding for some sort of a text mining analysis or something of some meaningful use. Right now, we're just kind of exploring the potential of R without really a clear application. But what you've learned in this video is how to split a string, how to combine a string, how to you know, find unique uh, letters, uh, phrases inside a string, how to collapse and separate you know, individual items inside a string, and also the, the beautiful power of the paste function. So I hope that this video was useful for you, and I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Take care.